Good morning, movers. Welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. It's Tracy Steen. This workout today was a request by one of my members, Jilly. This one's for you, girl. All right, she asked for a Luca, which is lower body, upper body, cardio, and abs, but she wants me to throw in some bar exercises in there as well. So we're gonna do like a Bluca. <laughs> I guess. Uh, should be fun. We're gonna do this in a no repeat fashion. The format will be 45 seconds of work with 15 seconds in between. Lots of fun, lots of upper body, lower body, good combination in today's session. Grab a variety of dumbbells for the workout today. There are the dumbbells that I'll use in today's session, so good variety. Okay, we'll start you with a warm up and end with a cool down. If you're looking for a straight bar workout for another day, you can click or tap the card at the top of the screen and try that one. Hey, and if you're looking to be a part of our Move Daily membership, new members is always welcome, women only. It's a great group to be a part of. You can click or tap the card at the top of the screen for more information. All right, let's do this workout and move daily. There is a bar option here, but I think I'm gonna put high intensity intervals just because of the no repeat and the fast movement and the addition of cardio and all of that. Here we go, let's warm things up. One more here, take it wide and open. Good, stay wide, let's touch our toes. And some front kicks, a little dynamic kick right here, 10 per leg, swing those arms as well. Last one here, switching sides and kick. Last, and some roundhouses. Let's bring it from the back to the front. Good, front and back bends here. Last one, but stay down here. Single side circle. Reverse direction. Other side. Reverse. Good, and tap it out here. Up and over. Good, and torso turns to finish and we'll get you started. Very good, all right, are you ready? There's the first Bluka set. 
I'm gonna grab those two pound dumbbells, with nice and lightweight here. All right, we're gonna come low out to the side, and then up here, we'll switch sides and switch the plie. Here we go, and wide, and up, nice. Last one here, switch your side. Good, I'm gonna grab a 20 pound dumbbell for that squat pickup front lunge. We'll alternate that front lunge, super tall. Drop that squat nice and low. So we drop, pick it up and lunge, back to your squat, other side lunge. I'm gonna go a little bit lighter for my single double Arnold. Maybe just tens, as I'm still in that warm up mode. Single, single, double press. These are soft. And we single, single, double here. Right, moving into your two seals, two T-Rex for cardio. Low impact is here, low and low. Otherwise, jump it out, you're here if you don't need the rest. And low right here and here. Going into your plank walkout. This can be modified from the knees while you walk front and back. I'm gonna do it from the toes. Nice plank position. Don't let your back sag. We walk up, up, back and tap. Switching that lead arm. Thank you. 
I'm gonna grab those tens for this glute leg lift. I'll call half. So you're here. We're gonna come low and lift. I'll call half again. Here we go. You're down, up. All right, we're squeezing that glute. Just getting good glute and hamstring activation on this guy. Ooh, and quad as well, hey? Three, two, one quick switch and low. Ooh, that was fire. <laughs> All right, lower body. I'm gonna grab my 25 for your plie, pulse, squat, plie, wide stance, pulse. You're here, here and drive. grab that other 20 and take it to the ground for that single double chest press. All right, on the ground. Oh, I had a 25, Never mind. both 20s. All right, above the head, single, single down, and then double. Here we go, left, right, together. Press over the chest. Very good, coming into standing side lunge, center hop, you can squat to mod. So we'll take it to the side. Then I'm gonna hop, but you could squat and alternating sides. Reach it here, hips go back and jump. Hips go back and jump or squat. All right, down on your back for your abs. I'm gonna grab these lighter dumbbells here for my butterfly sit-up. All right, overhead reach. I'll add it front press with or without weights. So you're here and press. Nice. You could just crunch if you can't do the full sit-up.
All right, into that stork push-up for our bar move. You're from a knee. You're gonna do a tricep push-up. Leg is behind you, we'll come down and press. Leg stays up and I'll call half. So you're down and press. Last one here, switch knees. into your six, five, four, three, two, one squat sequence. I'll hold 15s, we're gonna pulse for one, then two, then three, then four, then five, then six, and all the way back down the ladder. So, one, now down for two. One, two, now three. One, two, three, and four. Five. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. I didn't make one. All right, let's go into that. Um, what's it called again? Lawnmower. Wide stance. We're squatting low. And then it's a diagonal elbow lift and diagonal flip. I'll call half. Low. Press. That's it. Last one here, switch sides, and you're low. All right, moving into that plie front and back hop, quick sip. Drip. Your pulse with a walk to mod. So pulse, hop, pulse back. Pistol crunch. All right, one knee is bent, one leg is straight, crunching chest to the ceiling, and I'll call half. Here we go, and we lift up and up. Elbow stay wide. If you need support, put that bent knee on the floor there. In three, two, one to switch. Thirty second rest coming up. You can continue this if you don't need the break. Ah, now 
Kelly Olson. All right, good job so far. Grab some water, enjoy you right back. Grabbing those really light weights again as we hit that reverse lunge with that front raise there and a kick. All right, shoulders back. The burn will be substantial after 45 seconds, I think. Here we go. I'll call halfway on the leg though. You're here and up. Stay tall, point the toe to flex the calf a bit as well. Last one here and switch your leg, go low and kick. We'll take it to the ground for that glute thrust. I'm gonna grab my 40 pound dumbbell here. Okay, feet close together, knees are open in that frog glute thrust. We'll pulse at the top. We're up, pulse and down. Nice squeeze at the top there, come on. Staying down here for that renegade row rotation. And I'll hold the 12. Ooh, that was fire. All right, you don't want to over rotate here. You could just do a standing one arm row if you don't want to be on your wrists. But I'll call half plank position to start. We row and we rotate. Press, same side. Very good, switching sides, bum down. Moving into your diagonal ice skaters. If you don't like the diagonal, just do regular ice skaters. You'll moderate here, front, front, and back here. Otherwise we hop. Single double leg extension. Stick with the single to modify a bit. Otherwise, single, 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 low, single, double now, low. Don't pull up your neck. Just support gently with your hands, but keep your elbows wide.
Grabbing those light weights again for my bar move. All right. Now the plie, we're working on those inner thighs. We're pulsing and rotator cuff right here. Do it without weights if your weights are too heavy. So we pulse and turn. That's it. Shoulders back, chest is up and out. Jilly, I'm liking this workout so far. This is fun. Thanks for the suggestion of your bluka. <laughs> Legs, we're gonna go into a round the world lunge combo. I'm gonna hold 115 in the center. I'll front lunge, side lunge, reverse, and then switch legs. Nice and tall. And we front, side, reverse. Switch sides, front, side, reverse. Heart rate's climbing. Nelly. We'll bring it down a bit with the pinwheel curl for upper body. I'm holding 15s. Alternating, knees are soft, flex. So let's go into that sprinter hop. All right, you can modify this with a low ground touch, step high knee, stay on the same side until I call half. Drop it low and you're back and hop it here. Drive that knee to the ceiling. You do have to have some good hip flexibility to touch the ground while staying tall. If you can't, just reach low and don't touch. Last one here, other leg goes back. Standing abs. I'll hold those twos, side crunch, front kick, I'll call half, you're here, cross and kick, reach that elbow to the back of the thigh. Last here. And switch. <laughs> I'm 
going to do a heels together squat overhead press. You can just stick with the press if that doesn't feel good on the legs or do a feet shoulder width apart squat and switch into fives. Watch your face. Low and up. Core engaged. Nice and tall. I'm gonna do a heavier single dumbbell deadlift, holding a 30. You could hold two dumbbells and do a regular Romanian deadlift. That's a 25. Wide stance. And we hinge two, three, and stand. I'll hold the 12s. All right, one here and here. All right, single double high pull here. Our shoulders are back, nice and tall. And we single, single double here, good. A low impact cardio, but I'm gonna hold those weights. We're gonna do a squat pulse front punch, all right? Uh, this'll kick it up just because we're gonna hold that isometric contraction in your squat. Drop it low, you're here. That's it, yeah, pulse right there. seconds, stay in the pocket, stay low. Feel that quad burn. Don't hold your breath. Three, two, one to the ground. For that starfish, I'll keep holding these twos. Alternating toe touch. Okay, for a modified version, stay on your back and lift your leg like that. Otherwise, we're up to the tailbone and we work. Alternate. Another 30 second water break coming up. Stay here if you don't need the rest, which someone commented on my Facebook page the other day. I think we all need the rest. <laughs> 
It's true, myself included. All right. Nelly, last big push. We've got this, folks. I'm gonna grab fives for this bar exercise. It's going to be a tricep kickback with a glute leg lift, all right? So nice little kickback. Try to keep that leg straight, focus on the glute. I'll call halfway on the leg. Hinge, and we kick and lift. Nice, good balance practice here as well, or stability. All right, pick a spot in front of you to stay focused on. Don't hold your breath. Glutes feeling that already. <laughs> Like, not my working one, my stationary one. All right, switch sides and lift. Ooh, that was fire. Pendulum swing. Very good. I'm gonna hold the 12. I'll call halfway on that stationary leg. We're gonna lunge forward and switch the weight and back. And work here. Forward, switch, reverse. Nice and tall. Your torso should be completely upright. All right. One more here, switch legs and front and reverse. Grabbing my other 12, heading to the ground. Tricep press, overhead tricep extension. All right, palms are facing. Press to the ceiling, here we go. Press it up, tricep back, ceiling down to the ground. Staying down here for that sprawling frog kick. If you don't want to do this, it's kind of like a burpee with a knees. Feel free to stand and do jacks or high knees, that's fine. Otherwise, plank, knee to elbow, and stand. Let's go, Jilly. <laughs> Very good. On your back, into those scissors. Now, you can go a little higher. That makes it easier on the lower back. You can support your lower back with your hands under your bottom. Here we go.
Almost there. And we're standing for our last round. All right, into that plie, lateral pulse. Give me a sip. Wide stance, palms face the front, pulse and lift. Right here, let's go. High volume, lighter weights here. Teaching endurance for those ligaments and joints. Halfway, let's work. into that suitcase squat with a slow descent. Uh, 15s. Hold the weight at your side. You could hold it up on your shoulders as well if you'd like. Feet shoulder width. Down for three, two, one, and drive. Three, two, one, and drive. Stay very tall in your back. row to palms up bicep we'll pull 12s pull 12s hinge forward at the waist all right hit that wide row then full stand and curl row it here turn stand and curl your cardio, I'm gonna do an in and out squat jump. Low impact is just gonna be a narrow wide squat combo here. Don't come up out of that squat though. That'll be the burn. Work here and here. position abs to finish off strong. If you want a mod, feel free just to do a small package. All right, right here. Otherwise, up to that X position. Let's work. You're up. Wide hand, touches wide legs. Way, let's work. Yeah. 
in three, two, one and done. <laughs> Deep move daily. Oh, that was fantastic. That was really good. I feel buzzy. That's awesome. Thanks, Julie. Good idea. Join for a stretch if you can. Don't forget to smash the like button and be subscribed if you like this channel. Hiya. Good. Let's go for a standing stretch today. I feel like I want to stretch out that IT band. Big stretch up. Take an inhale and slowly exhale as you hinge at the waist here. Now that back glute, reach it back toward the uh, wall. Oh yeah, that was fun. I always love a good no repeat. Round up through the back, roll those shoulders back, switch sides. It's just, you know, it's just a fun little cardio workout for sure. Switch and hinge. Um, I really do love bar. <laughs> I've never actually, this is sad to say, but I've never been to a bar class. <laughs> so I don't, I certainly do not uh, call myself a bar expert or even someone who knows anything about it. <laughs> Hinge forward, reach up here. Uh, what I have observed is that it's a lot about form. It's a lot about the muscles that they would use in ballet and bar, you know, ballet. Uh, and so I like it because it's some of those smaller muscle groups. And then again, you can, use lighter weights and still feel the burn because the volume is higher. And that's where we're challenging or pushing the system still. You can do that with heavy weights. You can do that with duration. You can do that with consistency. You can do that with volume. You can do that with pace. Lots of ways to overload a muscle and high volume light weights is a way to do that. So if you're someone who's like, well, I don't want to lift as heavy because it hurts my joints or maybe you have arthritis or what have you, then lifting lighter, but still challenging the muscle with a higher volume is a way to do that. Stretch back, drop those shoulders. Let's lift the chin up. Anyway, um, I love doing both because I still think, switch sides, that if I want to be able to lift up my toddler grandchild or great-grandchild when I'm 80 or 90, I have to practice lifting things that are 20 pounds. Let's open up in the chest here. Okay, so, Right, if I want to be able to lift my suitcase into the overhead bin, I have to practice lifting things that are 35 pounds, right? Uh, I always love it when men usually try to help me, and I, I, I'm so funny about that. Sometimes I let them, mostly I don't though, mostly I say, it's okay, I lift weights for a living. And <laughs> I just want to do it myself, you know, like I want to prove that I'm strong enough to do that. Uh, on my last flight though, I had an empty water bottle, like a, not, not that big, but what was it, like a swell bottle, and it was stuck in the side of my backpack. Uh, and it's a backpack that's really big so that I can carry my laptop in it. And I lifted it up and it was pretty heavy because I have a camera on my laptop and the water bottle fell out. And thank God it didn't hit me in the face, but it fell out and hit the metal runner on the floor and made a huge bang because it was empty and hollow and it just, everyone was just freaked right out. I'm like, ah, it was just a water bottle, everyone, just a water bottle, <laughs> crisis averted. Anyway, see, I should have let someone help me and then I could have avoided all that, but I do really take great pleasure out of uh, doing it myself. And it's funny because uh, one of my, did we do this already? Yes, we did, um, arm behind the back. One of my members said that she literally waits around the water cooler at work until it has to be changed and then she, go gets, she, she goes and gets the heavy, heavy water bottle because she can do it because <laughs> she lifts weights. And I'm like, yeah, girl, that's the way to do it. It's the way to do it. All right, good workout. Thanks, Julie, that was awesome. Good, again, suggestion. Hey, if you're interested in joining our membership where people like us do things like this all of the time, click or tap the card right there and check us out. See you in the next workout.